Good morning. So I am going to be sharing um, a very simple breakfast recipe that is eaten all over the western belt of India that is mainly in Maharashtra, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. This recipe is called poha and you are going to be using poha. Uh, this is nothing but flattened rice or in Dutch riced flocken. So this is rice flocken which is which definitely goes to say that it's going to cook very quickly, easily and will not take you 20 minutes to just cook the rice. There are different types of poha. There is a thin poha, medium poha and a thick poha. For this recipe, I would recommend you to find only medium and thick poha something like these packets that you can see over here and you can find these at Asian stores, tokos or even Indian stores in your neighborhood wherever you live. So what we do is we start with the poha so you can either take it under a, a colander or a sheaf and then wash it under running water or do it this way so just add a lot of water to this let this soak the water for a good um, I would say four minutes three to four minutes and then we drain this water off this way we have actually softened the, uh, the rice flock we would start by adding um, some sunflower oil I would say around Two tablespoon so time to add the peanut and you want to just lightly roast them uh, if you have pre-roasted peanuts as I said you can always use them done now so I will take them out I would add half a teaspoon of brown to black brown or black mustard seeds let it pop you could hear it sizzle just let it pop for like 10 to 15 seconds and then go ahead and add your onion and green chili and I would also add around five curry leaves and then just saute this till the point that the onions are slightly golden brown that means they are kind of cooked the onion seems to be kind of good on uh, the cooked side and I will now add salt I'm going to add around one teaspoon of salt for two people and I would add half a teaspoon of sugar one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder and so remember the soaked rice flakes or the rice flocken so I had drained them of course after four minutes so I will add these now and then give it a good mix so at this stage I would also add the um, peanuts to this mix it really well now at this stage this dish is 95% done so if you let it sit in the pan for another two minutes you can take it off but the other trick that I've learned from my mother-in-law is to add a little bit of water so that the rice flakes are even softer I will let this sit under a cover for around four to five minutes so generally when this is happening is when I make my chai on the side so it's been five minutes let's see how it looks like oh this looks beautiful I think my mother-in-law will approve of this now yes so we finish this off with some fresh coriander leaves and a squeeze of lime I prefer lime to lemon in this dish give it a good mix poha breakfast is ready so to serve this you would also add a veg of lime now this is 
absolutely optional you may or may not use it at all because there's already lime juice sitting inside this along with that we would also serve some of this this is nothing but chickpea flour snacks it's called shave um, you can find these again at Indian store if you want to check the different Indian snacks I will link uh, that video which is on my YouTube um, in the description box as to what different types of Indian snacks can you try and most of them are actually gluten-free and vegan so I am going to go ahead and top a little bit of this this is just to bring in some um, texture to the dish or rather crunch to the dish Mm, I really liked it. So this is the recipe for poha and if you liked this recipe, don't forget to give me um, a like in this video. Please don't leave this video without giving me a like. Uh, comment down below if you have tried poha in the past and if it has worked out for you or not. And if you add something extra to your poha, I would love to know that. And please subscribe to my channel. If you give this recipe a try, do let me know and tag me in your stories on Instagram. Take care and bye.